Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited to talk to you about epigenetics because it really helps us understand why we are the way we are. Maybe you've heard a little bit about epigenetics, but if you are new, I wanted to share a little bit about epigenetics and how it contributes to why you are the way we are. We all need to feel understood and, and knowing what contributes to who we are is great insight in helping us move forward. We each have our own DNA code. This is our DNA helix. This is what makes us five, four, right? Or six, seven. This is what gives us our green, blue, or brown eyes. Our DNA code cannot be changed. As much as we might want to be taller, as much as we want to have been born with straight hair, we'll have to do other means to accomplish that. But how our DNA expresses itself is called epigenetics. Epigenetics is based on the life experiences of your ancestors. This information, they're called informational tags, gets, gets passed down through our cellular memory. They can get turned on at any point in your life, and some may never get turned on. But what's important is they can be changed. They can be released. Our ancestors' experiences that created fear can get passed on. Their traumas, their beliefs. So for example, right, you might have a fear of spiders, insects, bugs, right? Ever since you can remember, since you were the littlest kid, you had a fear of spiders. I did, okay? That can be inherited. So it could be that a venomous spider, poisonous spider, black widow, some, some spider, bit, you know, your great, great, great grandfather while he was chopping wood. And maybe he got really sick and almost died in, during that time. That fear energy can get passed down in the lineage. It does not mean that everyone in your family, your children, your siblings are going to experience the same fears. Each one of our children can inherit different things, but let's say hypothetically, they all inherit the fear of spiders or a fear energy. It does not mean it's going to be uh, manifested and expressed in the exact same way. Yeah. We inherit, this is really important. We inherit many good things from our lineage. We inherit our gifts. If you're musically inclined, if you have a great mind for science, we inherit our gifts and our talents from our ancestors. We also inherit those things that are not so great, but what does not mean we need to keep them. We can have, we can have inherited sabotages where we move forward a little bit and then boom, that bad habit is right back at us. We can have a subconscious fear of taking action and moving forward because we're really afraid that we won't be able to live up to our own expectation, or we can have a fear of what other people think about us. Now, our inherited patterns are not the only thing that make us the way we are, but tonight we're going to talk about that. So I want to ask you, are you aware of any patterns that don't serve you? Are you aware of any fears you have? or beliefs that maybe were inherited? If so, comment below. 
I'd like to know if you have any fears that you think are inherited or anything that um, is holding you back that could be inherited. Just comment below. What I want to say in this space is there is no blaming of our ancestors, none. We're not blaming our parents. I truly believe that all parents did the best they could based on the capacities that they have. This is not a blame session, nor will it serve you. But many of us have this deep feeling within us that we were called, we came forth at this time to clear these generational things. And maybe you're one of them. Maybe you've known since you were a little child that when you got older, you were going to do things differently. And you have done many things differently than how you were raised. But there's still these things that creep up. Deep sadness, maybe. A negative mindset that, that gets triggered and ruminated. Maybe, right, you have an inherited belief that you're not worthy of making more money. I could talk for hours on the subject. As I've worked for years with clients, nothing surprises me, nor does it them when it comes up. What's important is that you bring awareness into the fact that you're here for a purpose and you know, whether you're consciously aware, you know that there's more potential for you. That's all that's needed. But let me know below. If you not are not aware, that's so normal. No worries. We can know we have a block. We can know that we're kind of defensive and resistant, but we don't know why. That's okay. That's all right. This is not something that we're consciously aware of. I've been talking about it for years, speaking on stages, running seminars. And there's other people in the world that talk about it now. But your subconscious knows everything about you. That's what's important. Your subconscious knows why you are the way you are. It knows what you inherited. Oftentimes, though, the subconscious will keep us trapped because it wants to help us. It wants to support us, meaning it doesn't want us to have bad things happen. Thank you, subconscious. But what happens is it can become overly protective and it'll show up as anxiety and fear. We'll get trapped in second guessing ourselves, And then that makes us feel icky because we're not, we know we're not living up to our potential. There's always something going on in there, all right? But once the subconscious can get on board with change, and it will, all right, through various steps, then you'll be surprised at how fast transformation can take place. It's beautiful. It's magical. And it's all available for us. As we are here, I know you realize that letting go of the past and remembering who you truly are is essential to taking your life to that next level this year. Yes, we've had disruptions. That's the way it is. But we have to choose for ourselves and be empowered for ourselves. As old paradigms, we are being we are really being awakened to realize that the past doesn't serve us anymore. It really doesn't. We are in one to bring about change, but the change is for the individual. Yes, we need it to be globally too. And you can do that by, by first embracing yourself, really owning your authenticity, believing. Because what will happen is you will become wiser about why things happened in the past. and You'll be free from that. And because we are in the world the way it is and society right now, I truly understand and value that people need support. We all need support. 
Nobody should be left behind without support. Any comments? Scarcity is really an inherited pattern that should be, it's like the root cause of why we experience their scarcity in our life. And it'll, when, think of it this way, these are all vibrational energies. So subconsciously, we are sending out these signals of scarcity, this lack of belief, these, right? It's a vibrational energy. What happens is here we are sending them out. It's going to attract those experiences, even though it's a fear, even though you don't want it to happen. The subconscious does not understand that. And so in here comes things that, that validate that you can never have enough, that validate. But the thing is, is it's not your truth. There's plenty of abundance in the world, in the universe, plenty of it, whether it's in the form of love, right? To be, to be accepted for who we are. We can have a scarcity that we're not, belief that we're not lovable. There's plenty of financial abundance to support you and extra. Inherited scarcity is always the root cause. We can worry about not having enough money. We can worry that we're not making money fast enough. And we can worry that our money won't last. So we might have a, a worry energy around money because we think we're going to run out. Or we're afraid of being betrayed and having our money taken from us. Right? So I'm going to give a quick story here about how money, one of the reasons one of my clients felt this way. All right? She was an entrepreneur. She had her own company. She had several employees. And she reached out to me saying, they all hate me. And I'm like, why do your employees not like you? And she said, well, they all want to quit. I said, okay, well, let's figure this out. I said, what is their main complaint? And she said, I can't, I have a hard time making this decision. They come to me with these great business ideas and I can't take action. Ah, so they really don't dislike you. They want to be able to help grow the company. Well, what it was is her great grandfather, great depress in the bit in the big depression, right? He was financially abundant. He had a manufacturing plant that was busy, active, and made a lot of money. There was no financial problem in this family. But he had an addiction to gambling. He gambled away the family inheritance of this manufacturing plant. All right. Now, how what happened is she inherited a mindset because of this that nothing is safe. Her money isn't safe, right? That the decisions she makes might put the company at financial ruin. You see, it didn't show up exactly. She didn't have a, an addiction to gambling. But it showed up as a fear energy that everything she had would be lost. We cleared that, right? She like quadrupled her, her business in a very short amount of time. I was so surprised. This, you know, but these patterns, these, I call them patterns, but these are experiences that get passed down in the lineage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was in a dramatic example, but we don't ever know right? It's an interesting example. Let me know if that helps. And it could be, let me extend it. It could be something that's happened in your life where, where, um, let's say your, one of your parents got divorced when you were little. All right. And you don't, so you're mindful of this divorce. Okay. But you don't know what happened before that. Right. But in the divorce, let's say there's just financial scarcity. One of them completely wipes out the other and you live with the other parent that has no money, right? Then there's that feeling of, I'm not worthy of having more. I am not, I have to prove my worth. And it can create this scarcity worrying pattern that we're never gonna live up to the expectation. And it can get complicated because we can feel that, um, you know, having more is selfish because we didn't have it when we were little. There's a lot of things that can play into this. 
Okay. Only earning enough is as if, now this is an old paradigm. I'm sure it's, it's still, you'll be aware of it when I share it. But I remember my, my grandmother saying, oh, you know, it, it was something about being born on the wrong side of the train tracks. Believe it or not, that was really real not that long ago. There's those that lived on this side and those that lived on this side. Those that lived up against the mountains with the views and those that lived on the other side down in the plains. And so what happens is, right, let's say generationally there's someone that was born on the other side that really landed for them and they struggled. You have inherited a pattern of struggling in your income, meaning you have to work for everything you get. You might have a fear of leaving a job that's not serving you right? And so you just making ends meet, I know you're grateful for that, but you do not need to live in this, in this scarcity and struggle energy of not having more. You have the ability to have more. Now, for a hot second here, let me talk about money, all right? Because when we lack money, that's a, when we feel like we're lacking money, what we're looking for is the golden egg to take us to a million. That belief doesn't serve us because the subconscious isn't going to let that happen. So something that I want you to do is I want you to start noticing anything that is an increase of money. And I'm going to give you some examples and just roll with me here because it's going to help train your brain. Let's say you're out in the Walmart supermarket, in, in the, you know, out at a Target or a Walmart, and you're out in, and you're getting out of your car walking in, and you find a penny, pick it up and give gratitude. You find a dime, you find a quarter. It doesn't matter the amount. Give gratitude, okay, for the increase. You'll be surprised. Then what, what's also important is look at what you're doing. It's about what do we need to change so that we enjoy doing what, what's good for us? And so what is, where's the fear coming up of change? Well, oftentimes we can let fear kind of keep it on the back burner because, well, they pay for my insurance or some job is better than no job or I should be, something is better than nothing. Okay, now you see there's truth in that, but it's not really serving you, is it? So just know that we do the best we can. And also know within epigenetics, no parent passes stuff down on purpose, right? So the over authoritative parent squashes. It's really hard when there are inherited patterns of authority and we have to feel like we have to live within that, within that authoritative boundary. And if we do it at all, even if we speak up that we have a different opinion, then we're squashed, we're bullied, and we're told we're wrong. And that is an inherited thing. It is, as well as you were raised in that environment. And so what happens subconsciously is when we're little, we create a truth that we think is truth about who we are based on our life experiences and the people around us and how they interact with us. And so it'll cause you, dear one, to be very hesitant about making decisions. Not only can you not speak up in those situations, give yourself some grace on that, okay? But you're going to second guess your own decisions and you're going to talk yourself out of things. I care about that. All healthy relationships have some sort of independence to each individual. If we are codependent, what will happen is we can attract partners that, are, that can be narcissistic. We can attract friends that only care about themselves. And I know I'm carrying this to an exaggeration, but it's really true life too where you might find yourself um, on a phone call that all your friend does is talk about them. And you're really good at understanding people, by the way. But your voice isn't heard so much, but you're validated that they need you. 
codependence can be cleared because codependence holds us back. So there's probably oftentimes you want to speak up and say something and, and you don't feel confident to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what I care about is how you feel inside. I care about that because we truly can't feel good or live to our potential if we don't feel good inside, if we don't feel empowered, if we don't feel like we can, can say something or do something then we'll stay in situations that cause us to be codependent on it. And there's always truth to why we're there. But that doesn't mean we cannot feel independent, even in a relationship. Oftentimes, people that have a big mission in life are concerned about what people think. And it's definitely inherited. When we feel, have a fear of judgment, what will happen is we'll play small. I played small for years. I'm so much happier now that I just do, I just be me. And that's what I want for you. When we become limited, too many limitations, because we don't, look, we don't want, especially for women, we don't want to outshine our friends. Our friends are just our women friends, okay? We want to be light. We don't, by the way, you, we can have an inherited money block, okay, that holds us financially back, back because there's a subconscious belief that we cannot make more money than our parents because they worked hard. Maybe they got up at 4 a.m. to provide for us and go to work, right? So who are we? to make more money with greater ease than our parents did. It is a really real belief that can come up around the fear of the opinions and judgments of others. The opinions and judgments of others are real. I feel it, I know it, I've experienced it and we don't have to hold on to it. I hope that helps and I didn't overwhelm you with too much. I wanted to speak to you. I wanted you to feel like I'm here with you, right? And along the path of supporting, which I want you to feel, I've developed a program for people to easily experience epigenetic healing that is accessible, that is supportive, transformational, and gentle. I've created a program called Clear DNA. Let's clear this DNA that doesn't serve us, right? Because we don't have to hold on to it. We're here to clear it. I created this as a step to experiencing me, experiencing my modality, experiencing epigenetic healing. This is my genius zone. I want you to find your genius zone. I know you're ready for change. I have a whole group that's ready for change. That's why you're here. Maybe you've heard about my method. Maybe you haven't, but maybe you have, and you want an easy, accessible first step. That's why I've created this. It's an easy first step in experiencing the power of epigenetic healing. It's called clear DNA. First, I'm going to go through this, and then I'll go through it with, with um, some um, slides, because I, I want you to hear it, and then I want you to see it. First, you will have an exclusive, private, one-on-one -on -one session to release inherited patterns and activate your full potential with a generational healer certified in the Soul Awakening Academy. This is a 30-minute session every single month that you have privately with them to focus on your needs, your blocks, to activate your ability to live your potential. Two, on a monthly basis, you will join me on Zoom in a live event where you can comment, right? Well, I will be discussing a particular, you know, topic 
in an area of health, wealth, love, and expansion. Then I will lead the group through a healing of activation focused on your personal energetic transformation. That in itself is powerful. Three, in addition to our live monthly event, in addition to your session, right, you'll have access to an unlimited catalog of 20 live healing activations that you could listen to on a daily basis. It's a library. What I want right now is for you to feel empowered in your transformation. This, these are live, uh, or these are audios that range in a duration of time, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, okay? I want you to go to the library when you're feeling frustrated. I want you to just click on the one that intuitively feels right for you, plug it into your ears, put a headset on, go for a walk or do nothing, or sit at the computer and, and take care of your content writing. It's a way for your subconscious to connect and release. But once a month, there's more. Once a month, you will be provided access to a 60-minute healing. Now, this is a little bit different. This is one where I take you through a guided uh, visualization and I clear generational patterns in them. There's 60 minutes. You will feel tired after you listen to it. You want to give these, this particular content a little bit of space. All right? We can talk about the logistics of your body, right, later. But the work is powerful. Be kind to yourself. Being A plus personality, okay, and over listening to the 60 minute audios, well, you're going to get tired. Just know that. Your body needs time to, um, you know, to really heal and to process and to integrate. But it's there for you whenever you want to listen to it. And I leave that up to your own discretion, okay? And then one more thing. And I have so many people that comment on this, that send responses to me. The last thing is to help keep you connected to your empowerment, to your change. I send a positive text messages three times a week. It's just an affirmation. It's something for you to pause, bring awareness to your day and know that I have you. All right all because it's important to me for you to have access to and experience the power of epigenetic healing. I understand. And my time is I can't do that many one-on-ones anymore. I'm booked literally for months, but I want to help. And this program is a way for you to get a session and receive the help you need. And I've designed this course at a price and priced it in a way that is accessible for anyone experiencing or wanting to experience this modality. All right, let's go through it again where you can see slides and maybe, because I then it will, you might have a question and you can put a question in the box for, to, for me to answer, okay? Okay. So you're, we're going to clear the ancestral blocks to your love. Many of you are ready for a life partner. Many of you then are clear you don't want one, right? There's no, there's no right or wrong, okay? But it also includes you loving yourself. Now, loving yourself is a powerful thing. I've done Facebook Lives on it, okay? I'll just get you to the point. Let's get you to the point where you accept yourself, Okay. And I want you to have financial abundance. I want you to have success in your life. I want you to experience your life so that you can say like me, I love my life. I love my life. I have not always loved my life. I have had a complicated childhood. I had complicated life experiences. I've been through trauma. These life experiences have given me the, the wisdom 
okay? And then because of my gift, I'm able to interpret it for what it is. And I want to help that for you too, okay? Where am I here? Yeah, okay, so we'll put the link right in the comments in, in the this comments. live right here. Um, when you click on this link, it'll take you exactly to this page that you see on your screen here. I know it's a lot to read as I'm slowly- it's so much, it's a sales here. copy, everybody. So. You can go to this and, and, and go there. Okay, we're good. I went through it. We, okay. don't, we don't have to do this again, but I do want to tell you how much it is, okay? It's $2.97 a month. This is a six-month program, all right? This is not a forever program. This is not something we're in where you, don't you can't get out of, all right? But you're going to want private healing. I promise you, you are. From, it's going to make a difference. You're going to want to get on live with me and experience it live. Why not have the most accessibility to all the things that are available to you to bring about the change that you need? Because I want to help you. You know that. You've been with me. And if you're new to me, you will know that. I am about creating change one person at a time. And that's you. And this is everything that I can possibly give you in a program that is super affordable. And it's not long, we're not, this isn't a forever program. And I really want to empower you to say yes to something that I can help you with, that you can help yourself with. Yeah. So I want you to imagine now for a second, because I know that you know change is possible. You might not know how to change, and that's okay, because you've probably tried a lot of different ways, right? And things improve, and then they don't, and then they improve, and then they don't, and it's two step forwards, three step back. That is a vicious cycle of being on a hamster wheel that you don't, know, you don't need, right? But I want this to be accessible for everyone. So I want you to imagine yourself now, just close your eyes, take a breath and close your eyes, and imagine yourself, okay, in what, what could be different in six months from now? How would your life be different on a day-to-day -day basis? Would you have greater ease in your body? Would you feel more comfortable being in groups of people? Now, what would it feel like to have greater communication and interaction with people, however that's going to show up? How would it feel to be balanced in your life, to not have anxiety around work? What would it feel like to be in expansion? Yeah. What would expansion feel like? How would your sleep improve if you aren't worrying about money and scarcity? How would it feel to take action on an idea and not talk yourself out of it because of an old story that we'll release? Put in the comments below, what is something or how is some, what would you like to feel different in your life? I cherish feeling balanced. I value being able to use my voice when for years I never did. It is a gift for me not to have a fear of speaking anymore. I love it. I want you to love your life. I want you to feel comfortable in your life. I want you to see you for who you are. You see, when we have vibrational energies, subconscious, we all do, by the way, they resonate in our cells of our body. What will happen is people in your life can't see you for who you are. So you're going to feel misjudged. You're going to feel misunderstood. You're going to feel disempowered. But the other thing that I care equally about is 
you're not able to see out clearly where you're headed either. You're not meant to do everything alone. Nobody is meant to do everything alone. We're here to help and support each other. And I want to do that for you. I'd love to know your vision and I'd love for you to say yes and to spend six months together. I'd love for you to get private one-on-one -on -one work. And I want you to feel empowered to take action where you're listening to those, that content. Put them in your ears. Put, get, a, get a headset from um, you know, the face masks. They are Bluetooth from Amazon. And listen to me. Listen to these clearings when you're going to sleep. The subconscious will clear this, and you don't have to do anything. Just sleep through it, okay? There are so many empowered ways to change. And it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. And it does not have to be expensive. And it does not have to last forever. Because change is possible. My life is transformed and it can for you. So if you have any questions, ask below too. All right? Let's take one step at a time, one month at a time. You'll have your own back end, your own portal, okay? If you cannot be on live with me, do not worry, okay? Because you'll have the recording. You can listen to it at any time. Let's begin and let's start this together. And I want to be in your world, okay? In a more impactful way. All right. Any questions? All right, everyone, I'm here to answer your questions. I want to know what you'd love help with, you know, like what, how you envision yourself, right? Feeling on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have content you're writing, let's get it out in a bigger way, right? If you want to have more confidence in your relationships, let's do that. It's possible. Whatever is tripping you up, you never know really, okay, what can happen if you're living in that vibration. The magic comes when it's gone, when that vibrational energy that doesn't serve you is gone. Yeah. All right. I'm sending you off in lots of love. Give me your questions below. And I really want to see you on the other side. So please join me. We'll get you set up for your one-on-ones. And let's, let's, let's have our best year ever. Love you.